Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Noor's Garden and Kitchen. Uh, how is everyone doing today? Today we are going to be making some potato cutlets, cutlets, aloo ki cutlets. Um, I'm going to be stuffing with uh, potato patties with the stuffed ground wheat. Uh, you can make vegetarian if you like your vegetarian. If you are vegetarian, you can make vegetarian. Instead of ground meat, you can put uh, peas and carrots or maybe you can put boiled egg, you can chop boiled eggs and put salt and pepper, black pepper and salt. Also, you can stuff that too. You can stuff anything and that you can eat like a snack uh, with the ketchup or maybe any kind of hot sauce. And also you can make a sandwich with it. You can put in the bun, uh, hamburger bun and maybe a slice of bread and you can make a sandwich with that. That's also very good or maybe you can eat with the um, meal like an appetizer uh, that's also good so this is this dish goes with a lot of different things so let's go see what all the ingredients we needed to make this dish okay okay let's go okay friends to make uh, potato cutlets we needed uh, one pound of ground beef and uh, one medium sized onion and half a spoon of turmeric and half one spoon of coriander powder half a spoon of red pepper salt to taste according to your taste and garam masala half a spoon okay let's go make first this and then we're gonna go to uh, potatoes okay okay we'll first cook ground beef so I'm gonna pour you're not supposed to put too much oil when you're stuffing something. If it's too oily, it's not going to stick together. That's why very little oil. Even if you're making samosas, aloo or something, uh, you're not supposed to put too much oil. If you put a whole lot of oil, it's not going to stick together. So it's going to open when you're frying. So... We are going to cook this onions like I sorted this onion until it gets softer. Then we are going to add rest of the spices, okay? Okay, our onion is softened. And the onion smell is gone, raw onion smell. So we are going to add all the spices. Turmeric. Quarter spoon, salt, half a spoon, coriander powder, one spoon, garam masala, half a spoon, and red chili powder, uh, half a spoon because I have already green pepper in there, so I don't want to add more pepper. You don't like too much pepper. Okay, um, I forgot to say in the ingredients about uh, garlic and ginger paste. So I'm adding some garlic and ginger paste in there. One spoon. Then we'll add ground meat. Add a little bit of water. And cover. And cook for a little while until the water is all, the meat is done. Okay. I'm going to cover this and let it cook for maybe 10 minutes. Okay, I will come back after 10 minutes. 
Okay friends, to make cutlets, we need some potatoes. I boil them and cut them in the half. And I have uh, two green peppers, they're not very hot, so I put it two. And uh, I have some garam masala, half a spoon. One spoon of uh, red pepper. And cumin powder, one spoon. And salt to taste. And we need some breadcrumb to cover them, okay? So first, we are going to smash these potatoes. I have a potato smasher. I will use this one to smash them. So I think I am going to make them side. Just have to do that. No lumps, no nothing. It is going to be very easily smash all the potatoes with this. I like this. Okay, our potatoes are ready. It's all smashed nicely and softly. So we're gonna add all the spices in there: green chilies, garam masala, cumin powder, red pepper, and salt to taste. Mix everything together properly. I think I'm going to use my hand to smash, mix it. Okay, let's just mix with my hand. No matter how you mix the dough, and always use um, brown potatoes, the old ones. Do not use the new potatoes. New potatoes are very sticky. How it is not sticky, like. So you don't you don't you cannot make it with the sticky potatoes. So you need to have dry like this. And let's go check our brown beef. It's ready. Okay, our meat is almost ready. We are gonna uh, cook until the, all the water is evaporated and dry. Because otherwise, if there is any water, it's not gonna stuck together. So let's put it on high. This is the time if you want you can check your spices if you want to add anything you can add in there like a salt not the pepper but <laughs> at least you can add some salt if you need more salt if it's salt is if you put a too much salt it's not too much stuff you can do it but I think still you can do one thing is fry some onions and put it in there so it's gonna be take away a little bit of saltiness that one thing you can do it if it's too much salt. But if it's a little less salt, it's no problem. You can add a little bit more if you want. Okay, all the water is evaporated. The meat is dry now. Um, we're gonna turn up the stove and let it cool down now. We will wait until it cools down. Then we can stuff it in the potatoes, okay? Okay, friends, everything's ready now. We can put it together. You can take some potatoes in your hand, maybe a spoonful of it, and uh, just make it like this. Make it like a little bit in the middle, like this, and then. Okay, put a little bit of ground beef in there, ground meat, whatever you want to put it, egg, vegetables, anything and just cover it, fold it like this and make it like a little patty. Okay, and then what you can do is you can beat one egg and dip it in the egg and roll it in the breadcrumbs. Here you go. 
this way it's supposed to be. Okay, make some more. You can make as big as you want. If you want to put in the burger, you can make bigger than that. Then we're gonna fry. Okay, let me make all of them. Then I'm gonna we'll fry them. We'll pan fry them. Even if you don't have anything, if you can freeze this, just like that, you can uh, put it in the tray. And freeze it after they freeze they get hard so you can put in the ziploc bag and freeze it up to for two three months uh, whenever you want it you can just put in the plate and let it defrost and then you can fry them and uh, if you're hungry if you don't have anything in the house maybe you can take two of those patties and put some ketchup it's full it's filling because potatoes in there okay I made all of this and then we're, now we're gonna fry them. My pan is hot. We're gonna pro, uh, fry shallow fry. Actually, like a pan fry. So I think my oil is hot. I'm gonna put one at a time. Just a little money right here. Oops. Okay. We'll fry until it gets golden brown. And we're gonna turn around and fry the other side. They look so beautiful. So I make this Ibanta for Ramadan, it's a lot of them, it's very handy, after you break it fast, you can eat this easily with uh, anything, like a dal and rice, or maybe just like that with a sandwich, or maybe bagare bagan, and uh, with a roti, or maybe in a sandwich, like make a burger, there's a lot of things you can make with this. And anybody can eat this. So even the vegans can eat, vegetarians can eat. It just do not put any stuffing inside if there's a vegans. Or maybe put vegetables inside so you can eat them. You know? Okay, let me plate this and I'm gonna show you to you how they look. Okay? Hi. Okay, our potato cutlets are ready. They're crispy from outside and soft from inside. 
and they smell so good and they look so good. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat one. <laughs> I can't wait. This smell better. I have a little tamarind, tamarind and date chutney. I like that on it. And also some green chutney. I'm gonna like that too. And uh, I can give the link for these two chutneys. So you can go and look these two chutneys and you can make with this. You can eat with a lot of things, these two chutneys, okay? Mmm, very good. It's so good. Wow, I can eat the whole thing. <laughs> I'm really hungry for this one. I like this. This one now. Okay, you all can start. You can uh, make this. You don't need too many uh, ingredients to make this. And uh, please. Share with your friends and family these recipes. Maybe they might like it too. So, and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And um, if you are first time you are visiting my channel, I am I'll be posting every week one new recipe. So, I am going to have a lot of recipes. So, please subscribe my channel. Okay. Bye. See you later in next video.